radioactive wild boars roaming around Bavaria. Today, for the first time, we know where that radiation came from because chemists published the radioactive wild boar origin story in environmental science and technology. Wild boars are pretty good at becoming radioactive, and the contamination level in wild boars drops slower than the half-life of cesium-137 in what's actually known as the wild boar paradox. Wild mushrooms pick up a lot of heavy metals, including radioactive isotopes, and wild boars eat a lot of wild mushrooms, but that's not the big news. We've known that for a while. To figure out what's going on, they took a bunch of wild boar samples and measured the ratio of cesium-137, which is a decay product of uranium-238, compared to cesium-135, which is a lot more stable. That gives you the nuclear forensic fingerprint, which tells you exactly where that fission product came from. Every sample showed signatures of both Chernobyl and, surprisingly, nuclear weapons fallout. Nuclear weapons were never detonated in southern Germany, so that weapons fallout is coming from atmospheric nuclear tests which spread fission products pretty much globally. That global weapons fallout is responsible for anywhere from 10 to 68% of the radiation in the 